Congratulations again for winning the Quidditch match against Slytherin. You are fantastic. Thanks. Something is troubling me, Harry. Ron and I heard strange noises outside the Forbidden Corridor. Come up to the third floor and have a look. What the hell, Hermione? That sounds like an absolutely terrible idea. Just read in the Daily Prophet that Gringotts, the wizard bank, has been broken into. I wonder who'd do that. I guess Hermione doesn't care for the rules too much in this game. Oh, fuck. Which way did she go? I guess either direction will work. The third floor is up these stairs. Thanks for writing your advice in text. If it weren't for the subtitles, I wouldn't have caught that second part. Lovely day, don't you think? Uh, yeah, of course I should be going up. Oh good, the gates are gone. Are they looking around just to see if anyone's watching? There's two people right in front of them. Sure, just keep distracting me with things so I run off to investigate them. Instead of going to class. Those doors nearly hit me in the face. They should either swing inwards and away from me or not open automatically at all. Hey Harry, have you collected 25 beans? Uh, sure. You want more than that though? Thanks Harry. We really needed these. They're for a little joke we're playing on Slytherin. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Come on George, we've got work to do. Wouldn't it take less energy to just physically pull the card from your pocket and hand it to me, instead of teleporting it here out of thin air? Don't fan the flames too strongly. Okay, anything else in here? Yes, there is. Are these supposed to be bookshelves? They look more like window panes that stick out a foot from the wall. Alright, let's see what's in here. That's all I get. A chest hidden away this secretly and there's only a few beans stashed away inside. What a bunch of bullshit. If I can figure out that much out to reach a secret area, then I should get a better reward. Maybe another card, I don't know. That chest was sitting out in the open, very easy to find, and it probably gave me the same amount of beans for my effort, too. That's weird. Two Hufflepuffs and a Slytherin conversation together. Oh, I was expecting beans. Okay, though. Well, there's a chest here, so I guess I'll be getting beans anyways. You know, it would have been clever to hide the secret room behind a suit of armor if Hogwarts didn't set them up to give out beans in the first place. Bullshit. With this control, it's bad enough trying to hit a target that's not moving sometimes, but... God damn it! How do I miss, like, three times in a row? Fuck. We finally got their asses. Oh, I missed one. No, I missed two. Okay, that's all. Right? No one else is going to appear and jack my beans. Right? No, I guess I took care of them all. Why are they even allowed to live in the castle? Do they do anything useful, like the house elves in the kitchen? Well, this was quite the hidden room, and none of the other students are even remotely interested in the secret area I found behind the suit of armor. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so we're outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom now. Oh shit, it's Snape. And he's wearing button-down pajamas under his robes. Obviously, I saw him. I was watching him from behind a pillar. Badly. Come on, Harry. Let's take a look before Filch comes back. Comes back? You mean he was here earlier? Oh, I think there's something awful down the corridor. Sounds like my stomach if it were a fart that came out the wrong end of the intestine. Better tell me on the run. We'll be late for our defense against dark arts lesson. Yeah, at least we know now that the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom is right next to the Forbidden Third Floor Corridor. Really? You had all three characters walk up to the door, then give control of Harry back to me for two seconds before starting the next cutscene? What was the point of that? You're not even holding a wand. And repeat the pattern. Release the button when you're done. Ah, uh, yes, the crescent. Such a simple shape, but all curved lines, so it's probably difficult to draw quickly. The professor is just letting kids talk in the room. Listen. Five points for Gryffindor. G go on, Mr. P Potter. T -t Try again. Why is he being so nice to me anyways? He's gonna end up attempting to kill me later. I mean, look at that face. He's all, like... Like... The house with the most points at the end of the year wins the house cup. Ten points for Gryffindor. T -t -t Try again, Mr. Potter. This gets so boring. I didn't have much time to spare at the end of that one. Oh, I got 100% though. Alright, let's see if I can pull this last one off. And again, Mr. Potter. Let's see what you can do. Well, I already fucked that up. However, I wonder if I go over it a second time if that would help. Well, it certainly didn't hurt. I almost reached 95% that time. Close, but not the correct shape. Well, 30 points isn't so bad. What are you doing? If you just followed him out the door at first, you wouldn't have to run to keep up. You may begin the Loomis challenge to practice the spell. F -f Follow me, Mr. Papata. I was already following you. Hold down the mouse button to aim the spell. To cast Lumos, let go of the button. You may p practice on that g g gargoyle. The only thing I needed to know was to cast at the gargoyle. I already know how to cast spells, generally speaking. That's quite bright, isn't it? Now you can c cross the chasm and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Well, it is a cool effect. It's like the light bridge from Portal 2, except without well-defined edges. Let me guess, I have to trigger a bunch of events in a certain order that will allow me to climb out of this room. Starting with these flippendo buttons. Flippendo. 
Well, that's fancy. One button opened up two gates. I like this blue accent lighting that this game has in places like this, or inside other places, such as inside of some caves. It's like lighting up a room with colored LED strips, which I might do in the near future when I get my own house. Just for my bedroom, of course. No reason to have colored lights elsewhere. Now, what's in here? I'll need a staircase or an elevator. Or, if the gargoyle came to life, it could fly at me up there instead. That would be cool. Okay, that also works. Hmm. I still think it's a cool effect, but I do wish the edges were more defined. How do I know how far I can run before I need to leap off if I want to do a proper running jump? Whoa. Yeah, alright. Like right there. The distance that I had the jump wasn't so bad or anything, but I would still feel better about it if I knew where the edge was. Yay, more light bridges, more chances to fuck up and miss the edge. Okay, I guess it's not a big deal after all. Turns out it's not a difficulty, really. I thought that might be something I could cast a spell out. Then I missed again. Ugh. What happens if I drop this on my own head? Absolutely nothing. Oh well. It's fine with me, I suppose. Uh... Oh, I get it. He moves up and down like an elevator. That cutscene could have used better timing or something. Most of that time you we were forced to stare at it when it was just sitting there at the top, leaving a first impression of, I still have no way of getting up there. I'm sure I've complained about this too much already, but I'm still having writer's block here, so... One way of filling up the time is to just complain about how I can't fill up the time very well. Actually, never mind. That painting looks like it's a backlit computer screen. Even before I wake up the gargoyle with a shock to the chest like a defibrillator, it looks like it's already a brightly lit object in the room. Seriously, look at that. Also, while googling for the word defibrillator, since I'd forgotten what those machines were actually called, I found out that scientists are researching optical defibrillators, I can never pronounce that word properly, which have already been tested on smaller animals. They, they restore regular heart rhythms using light instead of an electrical shock. So that's more like what I'm doing here with the gargoyles instead. That's pretty cool actually, and it would hurt less to do less damage to the heart. It only looks like four paragraphs, so I'll link the article if I read on it down in the description. They're talking about different wavelengths of light and using protein sensitive to light to allow the heart to be receptive to it, and it's pretty cool. Might as well go straight for the challenge star. Oh, not this fucking guy again. At least he's easy to beat, although I'm not sure why a spell that pushes blocks and buttons is effective on a ghost. 
I mean, I can literally just keep walking in front of him and hit him repeatedly. I don't even need 30 seconds to finish him. And it's all because he's too fucking stupid to attack immediately. He has to stop and taunt, and he ends up losing anyways. Although he's still laughing when he flies off, so I guess he's not too upset about being beaten. As long as he's annoyed me for a little bit, I'm sure he's content with that alone. Nice. I love when I can correctly guess where some hidden areas are. Although if I missed any, then I would never know about it. Wait, no, that's the way I came in. I guess I need to do something else first to get out of here and get that challenge star. Where the fuck do I go then? I know where all four of these doors lead, and none of them lead me out of here. Is there like an obscure button in here? For fuck's sake, I don't think they even intended for this to be difficult, which means they fucked up or I'm missing something really obvious. Still the same way I came in. Is that like a painting on a stone wall? Alright, we'll uh, start from step one. So I came in, and then... Nothing hidden there. Oh, don't tell me. Are you fucking kidding me? How did I miss a closed door like that? I must have gotten myself disoriented while running around in circles somehow. I bet if Peeves didn't try to shit on my mood, I would have found it normally. Yeah, just blame him. How can I hear a frog croaking through stone walls anyways? Fucking annoying hearing that and I can't grab it. The only reason to get that frog right now is to make it shut up. I guess Filch doesn't care if I break a bunch of stuff in the classroom course chambers. Or whatever these areas are called. I mean, it's nice that Dumbledore gives Filch a job, but it's gotta suck not being able to do anything with magic while the rest of the people around you can. It's like having a job where you have to dig holes. But you're not qualified to operate digging equipment, but they pay you anyways because they feel sorry for you and you just have to do your part with a handheld shovel, even though the other guys on the team could do your same amount of work that you've put hours into in mere seconds. That's gotta just feel awful, man. Great. A part of the course where I have to jump over a massive hole that could kill me if I fall into it again. I mean, aren't the kids just 11 years old? Another student got lost or stuck somehow. I think I'm lost. Oh, Please that stop sucks. That. What the fuck did you say to me? Do I know you? I'm Harry fucking Potter, of course I'm you lost. know me. Why don't you just Please stop, stop uh, talking? Yeah. Actually, that's kind of irresponsible for the teachers not to build emergency exits into these course challenges. What if you have explosive diarrhea while levitating a block? Come on, get up, stupid mouse. Well, that's cool. Well, I guess I'm going to just leave this kid behind. Well, kid, I'll see ya. Don't have explosive diarrhea. Oh, shit, that was close. How did I even miss the center of that platform by that much? Although, if you did have explosive diarrhea, I wonder if they'd make Filch clean that up, too. 
I really hope not, especially if it was all over one of these carpets. Well, it would have been a better sneak attack if you had come out when I turned towards the gargoyle here. And since Hogwarts seems incapable of fixing some doors from screeching or even creaking a little bit, I'm sure I would have still had a fair shot of reacting in time when you emerged from the wall. Come on, hurry up. Oops, overshot it. Oh, hey, it's Nick. Hello again, Harry. You're not here to give me advice? Clever lad! You found my secret napping place. Shh. Well, alright then. Well, there's Quirrell waiting for me, so at least I'm at the end now. Nick is just pacing around doing nothing. I know that feel, though. But of course, I can't help but try and explore every little path off to the side that I can find. It's just an impulsive thing of mine, I suppose. Okay, more beans. By the way, the beans in this game are like the thickness of a person's neck. Couldn't possibly swallow them whole. Another frog? Boring. Although I guess Hagrid might be able to swallow a bean whole, unlike me. Hey, that was great timing. The platform went around about once while I was exploring the wings of the castle tower. What the fuck are you looking at, Harry? There's nothing here. Luke collected all the calendar stars. Twenty points for the Gryffindor. Now, off to what potions lesson. I'm surprised the teachers have the rest of my schedule memorized, too. Is that you, Ron? Whichever one, I don't I know. I wish I could be a seeker. No, although that is something Ron would probably say. Nintendo! 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 Who the fuck are these statues supposed to represent anyways? He looks like he could be Robin Hood or something. Is he in more than just muggle folklore? Harry, over here. More ghosts? No, just two people that live in the walls the way real ghosts Have would. We 25 beans? We need the beans for some <clears throat> experiments. What do you need all these beans for? Are you trying to make nice concentrated way. sources of the worst flavors and then stick them in someone's car. drink when they're not looking? Although if it's Malfoy, then sure, I'll keep giving you more beans. Remember, you don't know anything about us collecting beans. It'll be our secret, right? Sure, if it makes Malfoy's pumpkin juice taste like vomit, then yeah, I'll keep a secret like that. So I have potions next, right? I can hardly wait to see what that's like. I just saw Ron down in the entrance hall. There are so many generic red-haired kids in here that I keep thinking that it's Ron, not someone telling me that they've seen Ron. Well, this is quite the hidden room. There's even a hidden room inside the hidden room. Although if I can get in here with Alahamora, why would you have a second lock inside here that can be opened the same way? Oh. 
So this chest was hidden all the way down here, behind a secret mirror, a locked door, and a bunch of floors I had to climb down, and now I have to slowly climb back up, and it only had a handful of beans. That's it. Oh, and also two sentient potatoes, or whatever they were. Can't forget that. Actually, I think I saw one of them pick up a bean or two while they were running around in there after I opened the chest. That would explain why I can sometimes recover lost beans and other times I can't. This is our potions lesson. And it looks like we're already late. And that's gonna be the end of episode 7, I guess. Nice stopping point. <laughs>